Hello, my name is Dimitri. Today I'm going to show you a brief hands-on demonstration of a software called Global Office Find and Replace. This software allows you to perform multiple find and replace operations across multiple Microsoft Office documents such as Excel, Word, or PowerPoint located on your computer in one easy operation. Let's say for example you have 10 documents, 10 Word documents on your computer where you need to change a letter A to a letter B. Sure, you can open them one at a time, perform the necessary changes, and then save the document again one at a time. And it's not too bad, it's annoying, but you can do it, it's not so bad. But let's say for example you have a hundred documents, or a thousand documents. These kinds of changes become impossible to do, or at the very least extremely tedious and time consuming. This is where Global Office Find and Replace software helps you save time by making all these changes in one operation very quickly. You can perform different kinds of operations. At the, the very basic level you can perform text substitution, so you can make any text changes that you would need. You can perform image changes, such as company logos, etc. And we do this very well, and I invite you to watch a video on our website that shows you how to do that as a separate demo. You can perform connection strings update. This is where if you move the database from one server to another, you need to change the connection string in your Excel files. And if you have many of them, it's very difficult to do. You can do it in one shot with this program. You can perform fonts, find and replace. You can change document properties or metadata that travels with the document when you move the document from one computer to another. And as a final icing on the cake, you can convert to PDF. You can also think of this program as just a mass convert to PDF type of a program. This program works with Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and plain text documents. It works with any version of Office, really, 2003 or earlier, then 2007, 10, 13, 16, and up. This program will continue to work with future releases of Microsoft Office uh, versions. You can process thousands of files very quickly. We're very efficient. We do this extremely well. We've been in the business for a long time, and I invite you to try it. Our program is available to try before you buy. We want you to be 100% satisfied. You can download the program from www.officefindreplace.com. We also like to answer questions from our users, and we help them with their work a lot and often. We respond very quickly. Please, please email us if you have any questions to exisllc at gmail.com. Let me quickly tell you about some very good use cases for the Global Office Find and Replace software. One thing you can do is create a template, such as an invoice, a purchase order, or a marketing brochure, with generic wording and a generic, generic logos in it, and then run multiple Find and Replace operations on it using our software to generate the document for its target audience. This is a great use case for this software. If you're in a doctor's office, architect office, engineer office, and you have lots and lots of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint documents around, and you need to make one simple change, again, to target it to a specific audience, this is a great use case for our program. You can replace company logos in multiple documents at once. If you have an outdated logo, you can certainly use this program to do it. It's very easy. We have a great demo that shows you how to do that uh, on our website. Please go to www.officefindreplace.com. This program is great for publishing. You can fix spelling errors that exist in multiple documents. This program is great for fixing broken data connection strings in your Excel or Word documents, such as when a database changes which server it's on and you need to update the server name or the connection file in SharePoint. You can update form fields in Word if you need to do that. This is a great use case for that. If you have a form document and you have a bunch of fields you want to update, you can use Global Office Find Replace to change that. You can protect your privacy by replacing some of the document properties that travel with each Word, Excel, and PowerPoint document. For example, if you have the company name, sometimes Word will automatically put a, a company name inside the document, and it's not obvious how to find it. Our program will reveal all metadata, all document properties in your documents and allow you to change them. Please go to our website to see more videos on some of these use cases by going to www.officefindandreplace.com. Now, let me show you a demo of the software. I've prepared three sample documents for us to take a look at. 
The first one is a Word document, and it's a generic template statement for a fictitious company. It has a company logo, company name that's not filled in, has a bunch of other billing contact names, etc. Next up is a simple Excel document. It also has a generic company logo, a bunch of words that have your company on them that would need to be changed. I also have a PowerPoint presentation. This is a sample brochure that comes as part of PowerPoint templates. It has a bunch of logos on it. It has some pictures. It has some address names. It also has a company logo. And all of these things are generic and not targeted to a specific audience. When you install and run the software, you will be presented with this screen. This, the program functions in four different steps that you need to do something with to make it do what it needs to do. Every time you do something in the preceding step, the next step becomes available. So we've, we have three different examples. We have an Excel, a Word, and a PowerPoint example. So I'm going to need to select those document types to start the program looking for those documents. Now, keep in mind that I only have three different examples, but this program works great with hundreds and thousands of examples. I'm going to select Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. Those are the three examples that I have. The next thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to click on Select Folder to Retrieve Files From. We need to tell the program where the files that I'm going to work with are located on my computer. When you click on the Select Folder to Retrieve Files From, you will be given a standard folder browser dialog. In our example, I've placed my files in the input folder on the C drive in Global Office Find and Replace. You can use this program to search the entire computer. You can actually select the entire C drive. In my example, I'm only using three files that are in the input directory. I'm going to click OK. And now I have three different files located there that we've, I just showed you in the previous step. In step three, after I've selected the folder with my files, and I have three, it will give me an opportunity to make the changes that I need to make. For this, perp for this example, I'm just going to use the text and image replacement. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Text Substitutions. When I do that, a new window will open that will allow me to make text substitutions. This screen will allow you to make multiple find and replace text operations in the program. So if you are working in Word, it only allows you to make one find and replace operation at a time. Global Office Find and Replace allows you to make multiple find and replace operations of, of anything that we do. So in this screen, there are a lot of options. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It's a separate video that goes in detail about every option on this screen. But let, let's make a couple of changes. So I'm going to go ahead and put in company name. And I'm going to change that to www.fuzzy-logic.com. And I'm going to click on the button in the bottom left-hand corner that says Add Another Substitution. And then I'll put in your company. And I'm going to put in, put in www.officefindreplace.com. So I didn't have to... Uh, this is case insensitive, so you could, I could have said company name without capitalizing. There's a, there's an option for that, and I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. Also note that you have the ability to load the changes from Excel or a CSV template. You can simply fill in these changes in the Excel template that is provided free of charge, and you can go ahead and enter them into the program that way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click Validate, Save, and Close. Note that when I do that the background of text substitution button becomes green. That visually tells you that you've made some changes for text. You, there's also a message here that says you have two text substitutions at this time. After you finish making changes to any one of these steps, of course the next step becomes open. That's the step four and that's the final step where you tell the program where you're going to output the files to. But let's make a couple of more changes before we continue with step four. Let's replace the company logo using the Replace and Extract Images button. When I click on it, the program will read through all of the documents that I've selected in step two and display all the images contained in there. This is unique to Global Office Find and Replace. No other program does this visually. 
So note that I have three different images in my PowerPoint presentation. I had some generic pictures. I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to work with the logo image because that one I put in all three. I have in all three of my documents. I'm going to go ahead and replace the logo with another image. I can replace the logo with text, but for the purposes of this demonstration, let's, let's replace it with an image. So I'm going to go ahead and do, click on that. I created a sample logo that says new company logo and I'm going to open that. Once I do that, the background will turn blue to indicate that I've made a change to the image and this is my new logo that I'm going to be replacing. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and close. Once again, you'll see that the background of the replace Te extract images button is green and that means I've made an image change. And look, it says replacing one image in three documents. What that means is that that logo, it detect, the program detected that that image is the same in all three documents and I'm replacing that same logo in all three. This is very important. This means that the program is smart enough to know when the image is the same in multiple documents and let you make that change once. I'm going to do one other manipulation really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and say convert to PDF. There are no settings. As soon as I click on it, the background turns green. What that means is that not only will the program perform text and image replacements, it will also convert them to PDF at the end. When I click on Select Destination Folder for Result, a standard browser folder dialog will appear, and I'm going to select Output. I created an Output folder in my sample just for the purposes of the demonstration. When I click OK, the folder name appears here. The program also tells me where it's going to write the log file and we're going to take a look at that too. When the program runs it creates a log file that you can read to see what changes were made. And now I can click on perform substitution. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. When I click on perform substitution the program will make the text and image changes and convert to PDF that I've asked it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The program runs very, very quickly. I'm not going to pause the video. You can see that it's already done. And it took two seconds to complete for three documents, and that's just because the program had to spend some time writing the log file. Two seconds usually is good enough for many, many, many documents. I clicked on the View Log File button, and this brings up a Excel spreadsheet with all the changes that were made. The number of text changes, images, conversions to PDF, and what my changes were. This is very convenient for you to keep track of all the changes that you're making. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the result folder. This is a very convenient button. It opens the folder where all of my changes were made and placed. I put them into the output directory on my computer. You can put this anywhere you like. Notice that I have three different documents and also their PDF counterparts that were made. Now let's take a look at the results. I'm looking at the Word document where the substitutions were made. Note that I have the company name replaced with www.fuzzylogic.com and the company name up here was also replaced with www.fuzzylogic.com. That's the change I made. Note that the company logo has been replaced. So that's good. I've replaced the logo and text to account for my company and logo changes in my Word template. Now let's take a look at other documents. Here's the Excel document where my changes were made. Notice that I have now have a new company logo and I have the company name replaced in different ways that I've asked it to do, which was basically your company and company name. I've replaced it with two different texts and look, they appear correctly here. And as I am sure you expect by now that PowerPoint works the same way. I've replaced the company name, placed a new logo, and the company name was replaced here as well. You could see at the bottom of my screen, it is vertically aligned. So every, everything worked as expected. Now if I look at the PDF file, I can see the PDF version of the Word document. Uh, it looks really good. There's the company logo, the text, everything was converted to PDF in one operation. And here is my Excel document converted to PDF. You can see that everything is correct. The company names and the new logo were properly converted to PDF format from the Excel version. And you can also see that the PDF version of the PowerPoint brochure 
was also created correctly. Everything looks good. The company name and the logo, it's a, it's a little off here, but this is just for demonstration purposes in your example. The alignment will be, of course, correct. Thank you for watching. I hope you can see that Global Office Find and Replace software can help you save lots of time and aggravation by allowing you to make changes in the Word, PowerPoint, and Excel documents quickly in multiple places on your computer. You can download our software from www.officefindreplace.com. Please send us any questions that you have to exisllc at gmail.com. We love to answer questions from our users and we often make changes to the software based on input from folks such as yourself. Thank you for watching.